Hello, everyone. My name is Sonika. Welcome to the Power Ups Interview Questions 2025 series. As we step into a new year filled with opportunities, mastering Power Ups is more crucial than ever for those aiming to excel in low-code development and app-building roles. This series is designed to equip you with the most relevant and up-to-date questions and answers, covering foundational concepts, advanced techniques, and real-world applications. Whether you're preparing for your first interview or looking to refine your skills, this guide will help you stay ahead in the evolving landscape of power platform technologies. Dive in and let's make 2025 your year of success. Question one, what are collections in Power Apps? Answer, collections in Power Apps are in-memory tables used to store data temporarily within an app. They're particularly useful for caching data, managing the state of an app, and storing user inputs. Collections can hold multiple records and are easily manipulated using functions like collect, clear collect, and remove. They can also be used for offline scenarios where data needs to be accessed without a network connection. Collections are not tied to any external data source and exist only while the app is running. Question two, how do you manage permissions in Power Apps? Answer, in Power Apps, permissions are controlled by the data source like SharePoint or Dataverse. The data source defines what users or groups can do, such as view, edit, or delete data. This is managed using roles or permission levels, such as read-only or full control. For example, in Dataverse, security roles decide what data a user can access. In SharePoint, permissions can be set for lists or individual items. Power Apps follows these permissions and does not allow users to bypass them. Question three. What is the difference between navigate and launch functions in Power Apps? Answer. The navigate function in Power Apps is used to switch between screens within the app, making it essential for creating multi-screen navigation. It also allows setting transition effects like fade or cover between screens. On the other hand, the launch function is used to open external URLs, websites, or other apps outside the Power App. For example, Navigate is for moving from a home screen to a detailed screen, while Launch is for opening a browser link. Both serve different purposes, but enhance app functionality. Question four, explain the concept of data cards in Power Apps. Answer, data cards in Power Apps are containers used in forms to display or edit individual fields of a record from a data source. Each data card is tied to a specific field and contains controls like labels, text inputs, or dropdowns to interact with the data. They are automatically added when a form is connected to a data source, but can be customized to meet specific needs, such as changing the layout or adding validation. Data cards make it easier to manage and organize field-level data within forms. Question five, what are formulas in Power Apps? Answer. Formulas in Power Apps are expressions used to perform calculations, manipulate data, and control app behavior. They work similarly to Excel formulas, combining functions, operators, and values to achieve specific outcomes. For example, formulas can calculate totals, filter data, or navigate between screens. Common functions include if, sum, filter, and navigate. Formulas are a key part of making apps dynamic and responsive to user interactions. Question six, how can you customize themes in Power Apps? Answer themes in Power Apps can be customized by setting properties like fill, font, size, and color for controls such as buttons, labels, and text inputs. To maintain consistency, you can define these properties centrally, such as in a global variable or by creating reusable templates. Applying these properties across the app ensures a uniform look and feel. While Power Apps doesn't have built-in theme support, manual customization achieves similar results. Question seven, what is Power App Studio? Answer, Power App Studio is the design environment for creating and customizing Power Apps. It offers a drag and drop interface for adding controls, a formula bar for defining behavior, and tools for managing app data and properties. The studio provides a visual and intuitive way to design app layouts, set up navigation, and integrate data sources, making it easy to build apps without extensive coding knowledge. Question eight, how do you publish a Power App? Answer, to publish a Power App. Save your app by clicking the Save option in the File menu. 
Go to the file menu and select Save and Publish. Click Publish this version to make the latest changes available to users. Once published, the app will be accessible to the intended audience through the Power Apps platform or a shared link. Question 9. What is the purpose of the set function in Power Apps? Answer. The set function in Power Apps is used to create or update a global variable that can be accessed across multiple screens in the app. For example, set username Sonica creates a variable username with a value Sonica. These variables are useful for storing values like user preferences or temporary data that needs to be shared between screens. Question 10. How do you use the filter function in Power Apps? Answer. The filter function retrieves specific records from a data source based on criteria. For instance, filter employees department equals sales returns records where the department field equals sales. The function supports complex conditions using logical operators like and, or, and not, making it a powerful tool for data filtering. Question 11. What is the role of environments in Power Apps? Answer. Environments in Power Apps are containers for apps, data, and flows, providing isolation and resource management. They allow different teams or projects to work independently and securely. For example, you can create separate environments for development, testing, and production. Each environment has its own permissions and data policies, ensuring proper segregation. Question 12. How can you create a responsive design in Power Apps? Answer. To create a responsive design in Power Apps, use relative properties like parent, width, and parent height to adjust sizes and positions dynamically. Leverage containers for flexible layouts that adapt to screen sizes. Define breakpoints and set control visibility or alignment based on screen dimensions. These practices ensure the app looks and functions well on different devices. Question 13. What is the purpose of the collect function in Power Apps? Answer. The collect function is used to add records to a collection in Power Apps. Collections store data temporarily within the app allowing you to gather inputs, manipulate data, or cache information. For example, collect, orders, item, laptop, quantity, two, adds a record to the orders collection. It's useful for scenarios like shopping carts or temporary data storage. Question 14. How do you use the clear collect function in Power Apps? Answer. The clear collect function clears all existing records from a collection and adds new ones in a single step. It combines the functionality of clear and collect. For example, clear collect items, filter products, price greater than 100, removes all records from the items collection and then adds products with a price greater than 100. This is efficient for refreshing data in collections. Question 15. What are Power Apps components? Answer. Power Apps components are reusable building blocks that can be created and shared across multiple screens or apps. They help standardize design, reduce redundancy, and simplify maintenance. Components can include controls, formulas, and logic bundled into a single entity. For instance, a custom header or navigation menu can be designed as a component and used consistently throughout an app, improving scalability and uniformity. Thank you for watching our Power Apps Interview Questions 2025 series. We hope these insights and tips help you feel confident and prepared for your next interview. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates on Power Apps, the Power Platform, and other tech guides. If you have any questions or want us to cover specific topics, drop them in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Wishing you all the best for your interviews and a successful 2025. See you in the next video.